I even have a scissors? Hi everyone, um, it's me, Miranda. As you can see, I'm not wearing any makeup besides like my eyebrows because I feel like they're essential. Like they either make or break like who you are. So like she's there. So I know a lot of people like unboxing videos and I've never done one of them. Today, I got a package from Urban Decay. Woo! Usually I just open them and look through it and then like that's it, like no video. We're gonna do an unboxing video with this box. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't grab scissors, so that's what these are for, your nails. If you have nails, like you can use them for that. So we're gonna just, ah. I feel like I'm always opening a present. I'm gonna use the makeup to do my makeup. Ah, surprise. There she is. Life is messy. Your makeup shouldn't be. Well, you know what? Sometimes your makeup ends up messy and you just have to live with it. So like, but this is a good, this is a good life lesson. Quote, fortune cookie. I don't know. Wow. It's just setting spray. Okay. So I got two setting sprays. So I guess I'm not doing my makeup, but I'm still going to do my makeup. So like, get ready with me. Setting spray. Woo! actually setting spray is expensive like I love setting spray I needed some more all-nighter setting spray yes honey all-nighter setting spray we love her we're gonna use her now I'm not really sure how this video is gonna go I think I'm gonna do my makeup so I already did my eyebrows my brushes are not clean so like don't come for me I'm gonna start with this morphe palette 9a always golden okay she's kind of used but I love her <gasps> okay, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay. Put her on the lid. I feel like you can't even see the difference. So like, what do I even talk about in like get ready with me? So I just ended school on a note. On that note, not on a note. I ended school. So I'm waiting for my grades to come in. So far I have two A's. One in history. I have an A in what classes am I taking? Sociology. Um, that class was actually like pretty easy, like no homework. We just had like tests and then like a huge project at the end of it. And like our, our project was on a country and that country was on India. Why am I using the same fucking color? And it's like eight minutes in. Okay, honey. I don't want this look to get like too dark because we're just having like a chill day. So we're gonna use the points to dark color. We're gonna use this color. Looks like I have highlight on, but honey, that's just my sweat. Yeah, we're using the same brush, to be honest, because why would we use a different brush? Somehow with this lighting, I can't tell if things are like blended. I'm gonna put some eyeshadow on my under eye. making a video <laughs> oh my god i'm sorry no it's okay <laughs> you took my what your tennis racket i just remembered my dragon your tennis racket oh okay that's fine i don't know even though it's winter like i still love looking like i'm like <laughs> hello fall when you do eyeliner you're like committing to it and i have commitment issues and you have to commit to it so if you fuck up there's no going back you're still wearing eyeliner now the hardest part is getting the other side to match the like, don't count on that. We like her better. Or do we like her better? And of course they look different. Wow. Um, now that they look better. I feel like I'm not good at like talking and doing my makeup. I don't know how people do like get ready's with me because like I'm just focused on like doing my makeup. Maybe that's like not the point of get ready with me's. Not really good at multitasking. I just like to put some in my eyebrows. <laughs> it gives them, I feel like it does something, but it probably doesn't do anything. You guys know when I like got cheated on, like kind of recent, not really recent anymore, but in like October or whatever, I'll talk about that. And then I'm putting on 
this mascara. So me and my ex, we met on Tinder actually. So I was working over the summer at like a camp or whatever. There was like no guys there. It was like an all girls camp. He found me on Tinder. I didn't think he was that cute. And he would like snap me like all day while I was at work. Oh, I guess this dude's nice. I wasn't planning on like dating him. Like I don't even want to meet him, honestly. I'm like taking the glue off my lashes. And then I went on a trip to like Oregon and Washington, if you guys didn't know, and I was gone for like a week and a half. He was like basically begging to take me on a date and I was like, um, so finally agreed to like going out with him. We went out to the Outback. Honestly, I was like high like the whole time. <laughs> So like I couldn't even tell you what we talked about, but he doesn't know that. Like it was alright, I guess. And then a few days after that, it kind of just like got together. I had to really convince myself because I haven't really been in like a real relationship. So I was like, Miranda, like, come on, like just give someone a chance for once. Like you're gonna be okay. You're not gonna get hurt. Like it's gonna be fine. Like this dude, like, would doesn't look like anyone that would ever do anything like that. So I was like, fuck it. So, got in a relationship. During the start of it, he was, like, very, like, he was super nice to me. Like, he would give me so much attention. Like, it was, like, honestly, like, perfect. Within, like, the first week of us dating, he wanted me to, like, go and meet, like, his family. Not, like, his family, but, like, his military family on base. I thought that that was, like, a huge honor. Like, wow, he wants me to already meet, like, all these people. And, honestly, it, like, scared me. I was, like, I'm not ready for that. Like, I just got into this relationship. I tried telling him, like, no, like, I don't want to do that. Like, I'm not comfortable doing that yet. And I was hoping he would, like, understand. And he, like, got really mad at me. He was like, how dare you? Like, I organize all this, blah, 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 blah. Honestly, I was just like, it's not even about you. Like, it's, like, how I feel. And it was just, ugh, it was just bad, whatever. We saw each other, like, a few more times. Like, I stayed there on base. I thought he was really nice in person, like, super sweet. Like, would get me, like, almost anything I wanted. He was, like, a little sugar daddy. In, like, October, he started acting differently towards me. He didn't really care. He would, like, barely talk to me. And he would be like, oh, like, I was busy with work or whatever. I was, like, really understanding. Like, I didn't get mad. Like, oh, like, how dare you do your work and not, like, talk to me. Like, I was just like, okay, like, I understand. Like, yeah, whatever. So I was really understanding and it didn't really like bother me, but it bothered me, you know? I'm the type of person, if something's bothering me, like I'm gonna tell you it's bothering me. Like he was complete opposite. Like he didn't talk about anything or wanted to talk about anything. I would like tell him what bothers me and he would like kind of turn it on me. He's like mad at me. Now that I think about it, it was like kind of like toxic, I guess. Like he never really knew what to talk about. There's so many things on this planet and like, universe that you could be talking about and he never had anything like cool to say or like anything really to say it was always me saying things i'm the type of person that likes to have a conversation where the person like feels some type of way like i'm not talking to like a stone break that kind of did it for me i would want to have deep talks with him and he wasn't a deep person you can't force someone to be how you want them to be when they're never gonna be like that. I basically told him that he has no death and this isn't gonna work out between us. We should take a break. I really liked him. When I was breaking up with him, I was expecting him to like fight for that's what I wanted. I wanted him to show that he cared. He wasn't really like showing that he cared and we didn't see each other for a while. I just wanted him to show that he like cared about me like, oh no, like don't leave, like I'll work on this. All he did when I broke up with him was say, you're right, I agree. I was still trying after that, which I'm stupid. Like I was like, we can work things out. Like I don't want, like I don't want this to and I was trying when I shouldn't have been trying. And he told me like, oh no, I'm starting like aviation school. And I thought that was kind of weird because he told me that the reason he went to the army was because like he hates school and he didn't never wanted to do school again. So I thought that was kind of weird. What the fuck? We're on like good terms or whatever. Like we still have each other on Snapchat and Instagram. He goes and buys a Dodge Charger. And I'm like, what the fuck? Wish you had a car when I had to drive to base to see your ass. A month later, his friend's wife, she like sees my story because I posted about like us not being together. And she was like, oh, um, you and Nick broke up. And I was like, yeah, like I ended it because like I didn't see things were like working out. And then she was like, oh good. He was with another girl the whole time. And then I was, I was like, what? Like completely shook. Like I was like, 
didn't even know what to think what do you mean he was with another girl the whole time she basically tells me that he had another girlfriend like the whole time i don't know who was a side piece like if i was a side piece or if the girl was a side piece but like she knew about me i didn't know about her i guess they were together like a few months before i met him so during that whole summer of him like wanting to be with me and stuff he was dating her i guess she lived in vegas all right now i'm gonna use the setting spray so they were together and I guess she found out about me when I first started dating him and he basically denied like he was dating me and then I remember him telling me at that time like oh I have a crazy ex-girlfriend might try messaging you and like telling you that we're still together I didn't even think anything of it I was like oh like crazy exes like okay and then I was like oh okay like no problem and then she never messaged me so I guess she knew so i messaged her when i found out that i like i was being cheated on i was like oh are you guys still together and she was like no like we were like and then i found out about you and so i like stopped talking to him and then she said that she'd continue talking to him i'm like why would you continue talking to him and she was like oh i don't know this is dumb everyone knew besides me his friends knew he knew the girl knew i was just the dumb person that didn't know it makes sense like why he didn't care when I broke up with him because like he didn't like me anyways I guess and his friend was telling me that like oh like he never even called you guys by your name like he called you Victorville and she was Vegas felt like that was kind of dehumanizing you don't even have the decency to call us by our name he was even gonna have me like meet all his friends and stuff and he wanted me to meet the sergeants it's funny though when you like when something happens to you you think about all the little things that like were said and you realize that they all kind of add up it makes me think of like little things that he said or did that i was like wow like that was a sign like i remember we were talking about something and then he was like oh like going into each other's phone is just a no-no like and i was like oh yeah like definitely like i would never go into someone's phone like now i know like why he was saying that because he had like two girlfriends maybe more than that the friend even told me that he was still on tinder like while we were together of course he was and it's funny that he like lied to me saying he was a virgin and then i asked the girlfriend like from before i was like oh did he tell you he was a virgin and she was like yeah so this dude is literally like going around telling girls he's a virgin like saying like oh you're special like take my virginity and he's like fucking lying like i don't know i think that's like kind of gross like why would you like lie to that extent i think he is a sociopath he doesn't even care when i found out i got cheated on i tried calling him Okay, before I tried calling him, the girl called him and was like, oh, Miranda knows now, like, blah, blah, blah. And he basically denied. He's like, Miranda, I don't know who that is. Like, we have pictures and videos together. Like, you don't know who I am? Okay. So, I was going to call him. I was just feeling like, oh, like, I want to fucking yell at him or whatever. So, I was going to call him and be like, oh, you don't know who I am, huh? You don't know who I fucking am? But, so he talks to the girl when I call him, he doesn't even give me the audacity to, like, answer the call. So, like, I never even got to, like, yell at him to this day. So, I just texted him saying, like, karma's a bitch and so are you. Nothing to this day. He blocked me on everything. Honestly, I think it's, like, pretty, like, dehumanizing to, like, do that to someone. Like, oh, like, you weren't even worth, like, being my girlfriend. Like, I had to have two. Like, I couldn't even call you by your name. He's probably, like, still doing it. Being in the military, like, his life isn't in California. His life is where, like, the state he came from. So, like, he doesn't care, like, who he's gonna hurt in the process. And I just think that's sad. Like, you need some help. That's the end of my get ready with me. It's, like, pretty, like, simple, like, basic. Like, I hope you guys enjoyed, like, this little rant. I thought it was gonna be a better unboxing, so I'm sorry about that. Have a great day.